Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm going to log in into Bianca, our favorite computer cluster. And I'm going to do three attempts. Um, and first I'm going to show you how to log in via SSH. When you're outside of SUNET, I'll show you what SUNET is later. It's part of, let's say, the university network. Then let's say I don't accept this and I'm going to use a graphical login via ThinLink, it's called, I'll show you. Uh, that will fail because I'm outside of SUNET. And then I'll show you how to log in via SSH, via Rackham, which is a public server. You need to have access to that or use a VPN. Uh, but first I will show you how I will fail. So to do that, I take the, the course document and I'm just going to follow it until I fail, which is very quickly. So you need to have done some steps, like set up two-factor authentication, get an account, those kind of things. And then it's time to bam, just go to Bianca. So I'm going to do that. So I just copy this line and I'm going to fill in my details. So that will be, uh, instead of your Upmax username, that will be Richel. That's my Upmax username. The project is called that. Well, right, so that's also okay. So this is the command I'm going to use to log in into Bianca. Um, and I'll show you how it looks like. It looks quite dull. So uh, this is all there is to see because it um, it simply won't connect. So it can do this uh, quite a long time, a couple of minutes and so until it says uh, timeout or something like this. Like you should have had a password already. All right. So when you're outside of the university network, this this won't work. And uh, this will take very long. You'll get some kind of timeout error message. So this won't work. All right. Let's take another approach, because you could all say, well, then I use just ThinLink. So I'm going to show you um, how to find it. So I, I just look for Bianca, user guide, Upmax. I'm going to Google it, uh, because that's how uh, you'll also find it. So the Bianca user guide, that's great. Set up to factor authentication. Yeah, so here, for example, here you see what the SUNET uh, network means. So that's the university network, and my computer is outside of it. But Rackham, which is another server, is in it. And from Rackham, you can just go into Bianca, like shown in the document. But there's another way, and that's a, this, the, it's called the Graphical Login, uh, which is a website that looks a bit more, more a bit like this, a bit more extensive. Um, so you're going to browse to it and try to log in via that. Well, you'll be disappointed there as well, because the website won't load. It won't accept the connection, so it's really uh, it's because of security reasons. Right, so if you want to use the fancy graphical user interface outside university network, also there, either you have to be in the university network or use a VPN. Like this is somewhat how it looks like nowadays, not completely. Um, it, it will fail. All right, so those were two ways how this fails. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to log in via SSH, via Rackham. And for that, um, I'm going to use SSH via Rackham. So I'm just going to replace Bianca by Rackham. And on Rackham, you don't have this, uh, the, 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 this stuff thing added for your sensitive data. So I'm going to go in Rackham first. And then from there, I go into Bianca. And I'll show you. Uh, bam! So I'm going to Rackham. So what you see is that it didn't ask me for a password. Because I have two-factor authentication uh, set up. Then I'm on Rackham 4. There are multiple Rackham login nodes. Uh, you're on Upmax. That's great. Uh, this is what I added, the BSD devil. And now we can SSH to Bianca. Uh, this one. There. And it will ask you first a password. I'm going to go to the document. You will be asked, oh, uh, you will be asked for a password now. And you will not see any response in the terminal while typing your password. That is true. This is normal. It hides the length of your password. As a password, you should use your Upmax password and meet full by six digits from two-factor authentication and press enter. So my password is something. I'll type it in now. So typed in my password. You can't see how long it is. I'm going to start my two-factor authentication. And I'm going to look for the word Upmax. Not super. I look for Upmax. So that's 936226, enter. And now I'm in. Um, notice that I'm asked for a password again. 
Um, I just have to give my regular password now. So there's no need for a second uh, two-factor authentication again. Here it says you'll be prompted to input your password again. This time only the upmax password is required without the two-factor authentication number. So I can type in my password now. And then I press enter. No number, just enter. And now I'm on Bianca. Um, yeah, so that takes some time. Yeah, there she is. Like she needs to start up a bit because you, need, you like you have your own node in the end. She needs to find one. So this can take some time. I think it usually gives also some kind of helpful prompt. Um, yeah, so I'm on Bianca. There's not much to do yet. But uh, this is how you can get in from outside the university network. Uh, using a VPN will work. There is some kind of document where you can find that as well. So good luck, log in, and I wish you a great day. Bye.